that it is here in a few moments. All right, so let me get my, make sure I'm all set up here. I should be all set up here. All right, so this is Kickle Cubicle. We're going to get it started with 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Oops, okay, I guess we're not going to start 3, 2, 1. Let's go. There you go, better. Thank you for the good luck. Appreciate it very much. So this is Kickle Cubicle. Uh, for those who've never played this before, this is a puzzle game. Uh, somewhere along the same vein as Adventures of Lolo, uh, for those who are familiar with that. And your job is to do what you can to collect these dream bags. Uh, the general story of the game is that the evil Wizard King has frozen the entire fantasy land, except for you, uh, because you have frost breath and all that, don't know why. And it's on you to, uh do your duty and unfreeze the world uh, because for some reason, like I said, you're the only one who can do it. Uh, so Kickle, uh, the mighty Kickle uh, cubicle here is going to go ahead and do just that. So the dream bags technically are the inhabitants of dream world. Uh, dream world, which features four major worlds, garden land, fruit land, cake land, and toy land. Uh, and all of these creatures basically are the inhabitants, um, obviously corn and fruit, vegetables, and obviously st other stuff as it goes along. Uh, but your goal is to use these creatures, and I will name the creatures as we go across them, the Noggles. Uh, the Noggles here are the little blue creatures that we can freeze and shove uh, into the water to create bridges to eventually collect those uh, dream bags. And we will do our best to collect them as quickly as possible. Speed run, of course. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. And um, yeah, so that's the general gist. Uh, I'll try to, it, it's action, action puzzle. It's a little bit of both. Um, it leans towards, uh, it, it, uh, there, is, there is a bit of an action element to it. Uh, there's a little bit of... I did not mean to do that. That's okay. Whatever. It's fine. That's fine. We'll... 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 Don't worry about it. It's fine. We'll get there. Uh, so... The first world we gotta save is the Garden Land. And the Garden Land features... Garden-themed shenanigans. Let's go ahead and just pop this because why not? You'll see it a few times. <laughs> I'm doing this completely wrong, wrong and out of whack. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, get out of my way. Uh, so, yeah. You collect the dream bags, release the inhabitants, defeat the uh, keepers of the individual worlds, and save Fantasyland. Pretty much the general gist. We just saved the eggplants. You like eggplant? Well, yeah. Eggplant's great. So we're introduced to the mechanics of the game. We have the freeze breath, the blockers, which are these. Uh, you can't really see them because I'm not using them too much. Uh, we've also just now been introduced to springs. Don't let your bags of memes be bags of dreams. But don't let your memes be dream, dreams be memes. Yeah, okay. Took me a second. Took me a second. It's, it's late for me too. <laughs> All right, so these uh, lovely chicken-looking dude, the, the kicking chicken, as I like to call him, Max. The game, the uh, game manual calls him Max. Um, for those who who want the the exact name of characters, the blue characters are Noggles. Uh, the chickens are called Max. They're all Max. That nearly killed me. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. Uh, that's either sweet potato or just straight potato. So I hope you like potatoes and sweet potatoes. Got a whole bag of them for you. And in this stage, we're introduced to another enemy called Rocky, which is a Tanuki. Uh, for those who, who are are happy to see Mega Man or Mario lore pop up in a completely different game, uh, those are most definitely Tanukis. And Tanukis, as we all know, are tricksters because as a trickster, they want to do their darndest to to defeat poor little Kickle. Uh, so if you freeze Rocky, the Tanuki, and then try to kick him, he'll unfreeze himself and kill you. So we don't want that to happen. We also met another creature briefly, which we'll see again. I'll, I'll name him once we see again. 
I don't normally do the naming of the creatures just because I don't remember them well enough to be able to remember to name them. Uh, but these are the Noggles, because, you know, everybody knows what a Noggle is, right? You've all seen Noggles before. If you've seen Kiko Cubicle before, you've seen Noggles, but... Let's uh, collect the uh, dream bags for the Crab Island here. And uh, let's not get ourselves killed. That'd be nice. Uh, so there really is no... Uh, and we just released uh, Beans. There's no real penalty for losing all your lives. You lose your score. You, uh, but then you get infinite continues. You can continue from the stage that you die on. If you happen to lose all your lives. All right, so we got two maxes and one noggle. Uh, here you're introduced into the mechanic that the uh, the maxes can do, and that's that they can kick ice blocks, which is useful and heavily used throughout the game. Thankfully, we can just kick a max down once we've frozen it and just deal with it. And there is your turnips or parsnips. Enjoy some turnips. Eggplants are good when cooked. You can add some like tomato sauce and cheese and go get eggplant parmesan. Mm. Here we're introduced to Spinies. They are that is actually their name. I used to always used to just kind of jokingly say Spinies, but Spiny is their actual uh, given name. Uh, they follow a given path around the map. As long as you kind of keep that in mind, you should never get hit by them. But yeah, it's a pretty straightforward puzzle game. The puzzles do get a little bit more difficult. Uh, we're only playing through the four worlds. There are additional 15 maps or so as a special stage. We're not doing those. That takes too long, and I haven't practiced those enough to be able to know what, how to do them ever. <laughs> I, I've beaten one or two of the special maps. I guess that kind of qualifies as having done them, but... Yeah, they can be... Uh, the, the special maps are extraordinarily brutal. Uh, can you guys, um, there you go. Put that there. Thank you. <laughs> the, the special maps are extremely brutal, so I don't even bother with them. Uh, but the main 80%, the main beat the game is beat the four, um, four worlds. The four bosses. Of course, beat the Wizard King. <coughs> so here again, we have the Spinies buzzing around their little boxes. Uh, we're going to try to go quick, so we're going to open up this door block him in, and then we're not going to bother blocking this other one in because, you know, got to go fast. There's your peppers. Love me some peppers. 30 special stages. Thank you. I don't do them that often, so I don't even bother to count them. <laughs> each world has between 15 and 17, 16, 17 stages each. Um, so multiply that by f 17 by 4, and you've got about how many normal stages you have to do. So we'll grab these while we're waiting. Uh, there are speed strats to make this go a little faster. Um, wow, well, my, uh... I really hope that's not my controller going on me all of a sudden. Go figure. <laughs> my ice breath is not ice breathing. Uh, so you can also collect these popsicles around the map if you want some extra points. Um, there's not too many actual power-ups in the game. Uh, you can freeze enemies. You can put up a blocker. Uh, you can get the, uh, the popsicles for extra points. You hit the P bubbles, which will freeze everything on the map, uh, as soon as, uh, you hit it. Back. I need this over here, please. Thank you. And if I was doing this correctly, I would have not, I wouldn't have done it that way, but, well, gotta wait now. There we go. Easy peasy. This more kind of looks like eggplants. Good, good. P bubbles? Yeah, yeah, I did say P bubbles, just not P E E bubbles. That's gross. <coughs> That's gross. And we're gonna do this because it's gonna be easy just to do it this way. And here, please. Thank you. And over here, one more, please. Thank you. By the way, that little uh, penguin-looking dude—that is Mr. Hoopla. Hoople. Uh, so say bye to Mr. Hoople. We'll see Mr. Hoople a couple of times. And some more turnips. And there's the P bubbles. That's what I'm talking about. It's the letter P inside of a bubble. 
That's that's what it is. <laughs> Get your minds out of the gutters. I know it's late, but come on. <laughs> also, if you throw one of these frozen noggles across a popsicle or multiple popsicles, you get a bunch of extra points. Um, there is another power-up I didn't mention. Uh, it is a magic ring. Uh, it happens, it pops up occasionally, either when you get a certain amount of points or something. Uh, don't know exactly how it triggers, but it does does occasionally trigger. Uh, but what it does, it does a the bubble bobble thing where it will cover the entire map with like cookies or flowers or whatever, and you collect them all, and you get a bunch of extra points for collecting all of them. So P orbs, there you go. That's probably a better way to call it. Actually, it's still bad. Um, <laughs> it's still bad. <laughs> all right, last stage of the Garden Land. We've got four maxes and we got two spawners that'll pop out two noggles. Uh, we're gonna use this one to uh, clear this guy out here. Uh, we are not gonna get that one up down there because we don't really need extra lives because we have unlimited of them. Just naturally, we have that many. Um, because we're Kickle, we're immortal. <clears throat> and that is the last stage, and we get the floating tomatoes. The tomatoes are going to tell us something. And generally speaking, that something is, go beat the boss. So, fair warning now, every intro to the boss level does have flashing lights of some sort. So if you have any kind of issues with flashing lights, do look away for a couple seconds. I'll let you know when it's done. Um, it is especially bad at the third third stage boss. And I will remind you again at that point. Because I have never seen strobing lights in a Nintendo game quite as bad as what this game can do uh, for that third level. Uh, so again, I'll remind you again when that comes by. So we're going to ride the uh, giant beanstalk up to the clouds. And because... That happens to be where our Garden Land Castle is. Our Garden Land Palace. In the clouds. We unfroze the ground to go up into the sky. Go figure, who knows. I didn't write the rules. <laughs> I just break them. So, we're going to meet our first boss of the game. It is a giant Max, whose name is Coke. Hi, Kickle. I've been waiting for you. I'm going to throw my ice breath in your face. One, two, go over a little farther, and three. He's down. Easy every time. And we have the first princess. Princess Pumpkin, or Princess Pumpa, as it says there. So we have saved the first world. She's telling us to go save the other ones. Okay. Bye, I'm gonna go do the thing. Off to Fruitland. Oranges, apples, and grapes. Oh my. And a grenade. That's a pineapple, but, you know, grenade. Alright, so we have some noggles, some spinies. Uh, we're going to first go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and have him, uh... Thank you. Let's do this. Actually, we don't need two, but that's okay. Grab a couple of these. Watch it on the spinies. Don't run into the spinies. And boom. We have saved peaches. Yeah, there's some unusual names that they decided to give these uh, fantasy world princesses. Um, I don't foresee Princess Pumpa being a Disney princess anytime soon. Just saying. Oh, by the way, the bomb's name are Sparkies. Those guys' names are Sparky. Oop, let me see. Uh, thank you. I'm going to sit here for a second. Thank you. Certainly can't call them bomb bombs. That would be uh that would be a no. <laughs> Hoist him a pineapple, her crack me off one. Boom. Um green fruit. I, melon maybe. <laughs> princess grapes. I could see a princess grapes being a Disney princess at some point. Alright, so we have here our uh what are they named? I'm sorry. Bonkers. The names are bonkers. And they are also bonkers. I'm gonna... Ooh, ho, 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 that one almost got me. <laughs> I 
That one was very close to killing me there. That was, that was, that was bad. Yes, those, those clowns names are bonkers. And the only reason I'm doing this now is because I've done this game in multiple marathons, and I have not once called these characters by their actual names. So I found my book and decided that this marathon, I would call them by their actual names. I've been playing this since, since it, pretty much since it's released ages ago, and all this time I've never called them by their real names, except for uh, Spikies, because it's kind of natural. Their names are Spiky, and they look Spiky, so calling them Spiky is, or Spiny, close enough. All right, there's actually a pineapple. There you go. Princess Durian, there you go. Respect the Lord, there you go. What are the name of the turrets? Uh, do the turrets have a name? Unfortunately, it doesn't look like the turrets actually have a name. Let me confirm that. Hold on, let me consult the Book of Armaments. No, actually, they don't have a name. All right, so here we're reintroduced to springs. If you didn't already know what a spring was, we got springs again. Let me get out of the way of the spring. So we're also introduced to these holes in the ground. Let me stop you right where you're at, Mr. Rocky. Uh, you cannot actually fill the hole with a doggle uh, to create a bridge, so you can only push them across. We actually saw that in an earlier level, but didn't mention it. But yeah, the turrets do not get a name. Um, the closest they have is one that's given to another thing. So yeah, they're just called, they're just turrets, unfortunately. So here we're introduced to another very fun mechanic in the game, and that's the hammers. Uh, the hammers are make the game a little more complicated, and some of the later super puzzles, the, the hard puzzles, utilize the hammers really hard. Um, the thing with the hammers, the easiest way to know what they're going to do is basically when you're looking at them, whatever direction they're pointing, if you hit an ice block against the hammer, it's going to shoot the block the direction it's pointing. So, as long as you keep that in mind, it makes the hammer hammer puzzles that much easier. Because it can be kind of confusing. pump a lump -a -dee doo <laughs> pretty much. Y'all still stuck on Princess pump -a. We're already half a stage, half a world away. Oranges, our palace is sunk into the ocean with our princess. Ah, poor princess. Kickle, go help her. What have I been doing for the past, I said, 17 minutes and 10 seconds? Seriously? <laughs> Alright, so here we're introduced to the Equalizer. Yes, this one has a name. This one is called Equalizer. So the turret doesn't get a name, but the cannon sure as heck does. So we're going to build bridges across here. And one Equalizer is going to be able to get across here. And equalizers do exactly what it looks like they do. They shoot bombs. Now, by touching the bomb, you don't die. But by touching the explosion from the bomb, you die. Of course, it makes sense, I guess. We've been doing that and referring to the manual. <laughs> I miss Princess Pumpa. <sighs> uh, I don't know that you... Unless I game over, you're not going to see her again. Alright, I need to do this because... I, uh, stepped on the wrong side of this. Um, poop. That's not a technical term or anything, I just, I just screwed up. Um, um, bugger. Well, I'm gonna stand here for a second and pretend that I did this right. There we go. And I did go the one up, for giggles. <laughs> More melons. Watermelons, in this case. Cool. So we've seen most of the monsters in the game. There's a few more left that we haven't run across. Let's see, who do we have? More Noggles and one Equalizer. So I need you guys to... Oh, darn you. Let's go ahead and uh, say hello to the, the Equalizer. And goodbye. Right here, please, if you would. Thank you. And... done. <laughs> Success! <laughs> So like I said, it's a pretty straightforward game. Once you once you learn the puzzles, it's it's fairly quick. There's a few that are kind of tricky, even if you know how to solve it. Uh, mostly because it is an actionable game. But the RNG is... There's Mr. Hoople's again. Mr. Hoople. Um, it does get tricky sometimes because the... Even though the RNG in some cases is very light in this game... 
Um, sometimes the creature can decide to walk a completely different direction and throw off uh, the pattern. But generally speaking, each state solves exactly the same every, every time. Um, some of the more actionable stages, you get more of the nastier ones later on. Um, have a little bit more randomness for as far as where things walk. You just gotta be pay attention and be mindful. Ouch. Arg. Come here. Thank you. Also, you can use these hammers to insta-kill an enemy. So if the enemy's on the platform where the hammer is and you spin it into them, it'll just kill them. Which is necessary in some cases. But -na -na. All right, we're almost done with Grenade Land, uh, Fruit Land. And behold, Spiny. And Spiny was his name Oh, All right, so now we gotta build a bridge and get over it here. So what I'm gonna do here, paying attention to where all these Spinies are because we've already released more than I'd like. We're going to go ahead and, oh, 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 see they can do that too. Uh, their brains aren't always on point, so they'll decide to do things their way, which is not always good. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Told you. They can just do what they want sometimes. Generally speaking, they follow along the wall, but sometimes if, uh, the wall isn't quite proper, they'll just do whatever they want. So we need about four of these guys. Hopefully we can get them all up there before uh, he comes back. There we go. And we're in enough that that shouldn't bother us. All right, we're good. Oops. Hey, Von Ivan, raiding in with a 25. Thank you very much for the raid, sir. Hope you had a wonderful night. Welcome to Retro Dawn. Uh, and uh, kicking it off, actually, we already kicked it off with Mega Man games, but this is Wednesday, a uh, day of Nintendo Entertainment System games. I hope you're ready for a full day of NES games. We love our retro here, we love our NES. We're gonna keep it going all day NES, NES, NES. So, hope you're hyped, hope you're excited for that. I know Kickle's not necessarily the most nail biting game of all time, but I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Some of you have never seen it before. Some of you have seen it before, probably because I ran it before. Um, it's a cute game. It's a cute little puzzle game. Uh, it's a fun one to sink your teeth in. If you if you like games like Adventures of Lolo, uh, it's it's on the same vein as that. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a game that I've played. I, I've played a lot uh, over my years of video gaming. <laughs> years. Um, again, it's it's a pretty straight it's a pretty straightforward game. Um, there are definitely significantly faster times than mine. I just play it because I enjoy it. I, I run the speed, I run the route that I run just because it's the one that I enjoy running. So I'm not fighting for any records. I'm not trying to be the best at it. I just play it because I enjoy it, and that's really really my philosophy of gaming in general. If if you enjoy it, play it. If you don't enjoy it, stop playing it. If you really don't enjoy it, speedrun it. <laughs> Kidding. There's a lot of games people will speedrun just because they love it, and some games they run because they don't like it. But uh, to each their own. <laughs> to each their own. Even games you don't like can teach you some very interesting gaming mechanics. Even some games that you don't like can teach you some very interesting gaming mechanics. Or or uh, pattern recognition, if nothing else. Um, that's the amazing thing about speedrunning in general, is that you can learn a lot from games that you don't like or you don't expect to ever play. But because you learned it in that one particular game, you now have that tool in your arsenal of, of awesomeness to use at a later point for something completely different. <coughs> I mean, I get the thing all the time where people ask me how I'm so good at games in one way or another. I'm not saying I'm great at games, but but uh, people, I pick up on games fairly quick, and people are like, "How do you pick up on games so quick?" One, years of experience. Um, <laughs> two, it's just pattern recognition. It's after a while, you, you get the same idea, the same patterns. You just things become easier to see just because you've you've done it so many times. 
and doing puzzles like this over and over again, games like this, it becomes easier to, to, to play through them because you get the idea even just giving a glance, you just see how to, how to play it. There's an apple. <clears throat> oh, did I do them all? Alright, again, light flashing lights warning. Light flashing lights warning here on this one. The big one's in the next level. So we're going so quick through this that I'm already halfway through the game. But yeah, Solomon's Key is a fun one. I, I like Solomon's Key. I'm not. I don't. I, I haven't never gotten too terribly far in it, but it's a fun one to play. It's it's more of an action pl action puzzle platformer. This is just an action puzzle, like Lolo. Lolo's Lolo's a little less action than than Kickle is, but it's still an action action uh, puzzle game. And we have Piro the Clown, or Piro the Bonkers, and he throws a ball which bounces and breaks once it hits a wall. There we go. I'm going to have you throw one this way, please. Thank you. And I'm going to have you jump anywhere but on top of them. Uh, here again. And one. Ah, All right, we're going to have to wait for him to throw another one at us. How about over here? Oh, I can't hit you with that. He tried to do something there. It didn't quite work out for him. <laughs> I can't hit you. I can't hit you. Could you... Could you... There we go. <laughs> and there he goes. Fire and Ice was fun. I, I, I really enjoyed Fire and Ice. I had a physical copy for a while. Financial issues kind of took that from me, but I had one for a while. Princess Lutea. So we have Princess Pumpa and Princess Lutea. She's like, oh, you did good. There's two more palaces. Go on. Shoot. So off we go to Cake Land. My favorite land. I love cake. You like cake? I like cake. There's a fork to eat that cake with. <laughs> so this one looks a lot more complicated than it really is. Um, this is a, looks a lot more complicated than it really is. All you gotta do... Let's kick the ice guys. Kick them around a little bit. Kickle. Cubicle. <laughs> Get it? And we've released flan. Pink flan. Cream. I don't know. Something. I have no idea what that is. There's actual flan in one of these, but I, that one looks like flan. I don't know. I've only had flan like once in my life. <laughs> and we have lots of spinies and noggles. So this one is a timing thing. So we gotta freeze these guys in time. Oops. And do so without either getting killed by the rotating spiny or losing our platform builders to spinies. By the way, there is actually a time limit on every stage. Um, it is, I've never had the time, time run out on myself just because I've played it so many times. But if you do, a little basically fail whale bomb comes on the screen and starts chasing you around. Uh, if you don't kill him right away, he kills you. By the way, say hello to Rooker. Uh, these are Rooker, or Shield Knights. Uh, they do exactly what it sounds like they do. They, they, block your, uh, they block your ice. Oop, I need that, actually. Oh, hey! Oh, there's a ring. We got the ring, too. It, it loses a lot of time to get the ring in most cases, but I, w I was going to try to go get it. Uh, playing a game now, I aggravate you, I get the migrate. Nervous? But nah. No, there's no nerves here. There's no nerves, there's no concern. I've played this game way too many times to be nervous about it. <laughs> I've played this game way too many times to be nervous about it at this point. Lovely pops. Enjoy some lollipops. These video game worlds are going to give me issues. It's going to say something completely different. I decided to hold off. I like sugar. Hey, there's Mr. Uh, Mr. Hoople. Oh, we screwed that up. Say hello to Mr. Hoople again. All right. I don't get nervous about it. Immediately fails a, a, a stunt. So this one also introduces the cannon again, but if you look closely, we have a uh, interesting mechanic going on there. That ice block is melting. So 
if you leave an ice block on the screen too long without pushing it, it'll actually start melting and dissolve. Uh, so how the ring lose a lot of time? The ring loses a lot of time because it's basically a bonus game. It fills the screen with like flowers or cookies or whatever. And if you try to go collect all of them, uh, in some cases it can gain you a lot of time and in a lot of cases it just wastes time because you can beat the stage faster than, than collecting them nine times out of ten. Can you guys come up here, please? I need I need an ice block. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's like I need this, please. Thank you. And spring, and we're gonna steal the one up under his nose. <coughs> Excuse me. And we have saved the candy. And she's saying this particular one was sealed in a witch's uh, crystal ball. By the way, again, I'll say this two more times. The transition to the boss level in this particular world is extraordinarily flashy. Uh, if you have problems with photosensitivity, I'm going to warn you again, it's bad. Uh, so these are myrtles. Uh, this turtle is named Myrtle. So these are all uh, the lady turtle named Myrtle. Myrtle, Myrtle. Uh, yeah, thing in the bubble bubble. It's it's extremely bad. I have to look at it three times because I've got it on three screens. But if you have any issues with it, you will want to look away. And I'll, I'll let you know when it's going to start and when it's ending. All right, so we have a rooker on the side and noggles and springs. All right, we're going to go up here and get this guy to stop for a second. Thank you. And we have saved the eclairs. Myrtle Urkel. Murder turtles? Also correct. The turtles are probably one of the most trolly creatures because once they start spinning and they start moving, you can't stop them. I mean you could throw a you could throw a blocker up maybe. This is the stage where it becomes most important to um, deal with them correctly as soon as possible. Because not only do they spin and knock you out, they can actually crush they can actually crush your ice block. Uh, which is extraordinarily annoying because that wastes a lot of time. I've actually had to deal with that multiple times on this in one round, and I'm like, I've never had to deal with it that many times. It's amazing. And of course, you can squish things with your ice blocks too, so there's that. And let's deal with Myrtle again up here. There we go. But yeah, I've had the turtle actually crush my ice block like five times in a row on this one. It gets, it gets, bleh. is Kickle a Yeti? Well, Kickle is a, is something. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll try to see if I can give you the, the technical of what Kickle is here shortly, but I, I, I don't think Kickle has a particular what's it of what he is. Other than that, he, uh, he does Frost Breath. I mean, for the meme, sure, we can call him Oh, 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 wait, okay. For the meme, sure, we can call him a Yeti, because that's probably about the closest thing that we can compare him to. But, Waffles, by the way. He's a snow bro. That actually makes more sense. That is actually probably more correct. Uh, yeah, that's actually probably the most correct. He's a snow bro. Yeah, some of these levels are exceptional. Oh, the, the special levels? Yeah, the special levels are amazingly difficult. Uh, unless you know this... No, that's bad. Thank you for t tossing that to me. Um, I uh, I kicked the Tanuki when he was... Uh, oh, for the love of Jesus. I can do that, though. Yeah, see, you you don't want to mess with the Tanuki when he's uh, frozen. There you go. Because if you kick him open, he'll just kill you. And those donuts, by the way. Obviously, he's a cubicle. It's in the name. <laughs> He's a mobile cubicle. <laughs> I think it's more of the fact he kicks cubes, kick cubicle, kickles cubicle. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna yolo a little bit here. Don't worry about it. A little bit. There's the plan. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think he's technically a Yeti, because in the book, he looks more like a normal human being, almost. 
with just earmuffs. I don't know if you can see that quite as well. He just looks like a normal kid. Ish, with a giant bulbous head. But... Mr. Hoople, please. But yeah, he he doesn't have he's not white in the in the manual. He's not super like pasty white frozen in the manual. He has frost breath. It does talk talk about him having frost breath, but uh, that's about it. <laughs> I mean, even on the, on the cover, he's just yeah. So he's not even a yeti. I wish he was. That that'd go well with the theme of the marathon there. That Final Fantasy VI run was amazing. I, I have never seen a randomizer seed with that bad of a luck. I have never seen any randomizer seed of any randomizer with that horrible of luck. He handled it well. He did a very good job. Shoutouts to uh, shoutouts them for that one. That was an amazing run. There's been a lot of amazing runs during the marathon. Ones I've been able to catch. Um, just super shoutouts to that. Chao Su, yes. Yeti carried, no one will deny. Yeah, the Yeti definitely carried in that one. The Yeti was amazing. Alright, so we're going to do some prep here. We don't necessarily have to do it that quickly, or that early, but we're going to do some prep. Going to push that. And we're going to go ahead and push this around. And we should be good to go all the way to the end. Because he's going to do some things. Then that one's going to do some things. Maybe. And we're going to go get our bags. King Umaro, yeah. There was no question, no question Umaro carried that seed. Chuckles had the last chuckle for sure. <laughs> Chuckles had the last chuckle for sure. Alright, so we get um, our good friend Noggle and the Equalizer shortly after. So, like the uh, the turtle, the equalizer there can, in fact, destroy... I was going to say, can, in fact, destroy our our hopes and dreams here. But uh, we're not going to let them. Ice cream time. Imagine that stage going horribly wrong casually. A lot of these stages can go very, very wrong casually. Even they, they can go very, very wrong not casually. You're going to see the most ridiculous stage coming up here shortly, though. Um, it's almost, almost unfair, but, uh, we will, we make do with what we've got. We'll be all right. All right. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's say hi to Myrtle again. Goodbye, Myrtle. Let's push this around. Let's go ahead and toss that up here and say hi to the other Myrtle and grab her bag. And we've released cake. Cake, anyone? Cake, cake. And we're th two, uh, we're three fourths of the way done. After the boss, we're three fourths of the way done with the game. So again, if you have any photosensitivity issues, now is the time to start looking away. I've been waiting for this moment. Now the seal on the crystal ball will break. A turtle monster is said to be in the palace. He is said to be very tough. Be on your guard. But yeah, seriously, though, not joking. If you have any problems with flashing lights, look away. Messes with me too. I don't normally have problems, but even this messes with me. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, it's done. Some heckin' effects right there. Alright, Capan, you, me, and whatever you're throwing at me. Yeah, no, I told you, it's, it's bad. <laughs> I wasn't joking when I kept warning about it. <laughs> uh, Alright, Capan. Uh, definitely, definitely not joking about it. Oh no, crap, he's gonna get me. Okay, can you give me something you don't immediately run over? That'd be great. Yes. Oh, he's gonna do it again. Okay. Gotcha. <coughs> First try. Uh, it looks pretty bad on a CRT. I got... I've got my uh, CRT over here. It, it looks pretty bad. <laughs> and now I need to fix my camera. Alright, so now we have Princess Crema. 
Yeah, no, it doesn't bother me normally either, but I told you, it's, it's, that one was bad. They, they, they went above and beyond on that one. So to the toy world, and don't look at it, don't look at it. Okay, we're past it. Okay, worst stage in the game right here. Worst stage in the game right here. And that's why. <laughs> okay. I'm the cubicle that kickles in the night. Yeah, that stage is almost it. The the um the gales. They're called gales, by the way. Those are those those sparks. Uh, that's that's probably one of the most poorly made stages although if you play it the same way every time it's not necessarily an issue come here oh you piece of jerk you piece of jerk you went the wrong way you piece of jerk piece of jerks in chat <laughs> he sidestepped right when I kicked it not this time not this time, sir. Not this time. Alright, so we've released Christmas trees. First stage is airplanes. We've now released Christmas trees. I honestly think this world was supposed to be called Christmas Land, not Toy Land. But obviously there's not enough space to put Christmas Land. Alright, so here we have another fun stage uh, featuring the Gales. And Gale likes to bounce around along her way. Oh no, it's coming for me. Oh no. Okay. And here we do actually kind of want to run, but uh, <laughs> we got it. Er, the time is so long. Yeah, you <coughs> you do get a fair amount of time, uh, but the time is points, and it ticks down a couple hundred points a second. Um, all right, so here we go. Here's Here's a fun stage. So obviously we're in World 4. They can't hold back any of the nastiness anymore. They've got to clip a bullet through a wall and cause me to game over. Kickle, no, save the kingdom. Working on it. Yeah, the, bu the, the bullet literally... Well, they could have said something like Xmas Land, but you got to remember that this was probably... Uh, Okay, you, you you are actually clipping that through there. That's 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 lame game. You know, I forget I could do that. Um, <laughs> I'm dumb. <coughs> I keep forgetting I can use my blockers. I usually do it fast enough; it's not a problem. But oh, also I forgot my flashing lights. What am I doing? All right, we have sauce now. Everybody likes sauce? I like sauce. Sauce is tasty. Oh no, spiny. All right, out you go. All right, out you go. And bada boom. And we've released the Santa hats. This is absolutely supposed to be Christmas land. Because <laughs> we've got the Christmas trees. We've got the Santa hats. Anyways. I digress. Alright, here we have probably one of the mo one of the more tricky um, tricky actionable puzzles. Uh, I don't know if I do this as intended, but I know how I do it is... Ooh, buddy, you're about to get it. Mr. Hooples, you need to, uh, Mr. Hoople. Yeah, I probably do this not particularly intended, but it works for me, so I, I do it. <laughs> oh, by the way, we have the Christmas socks. The stockings, excuse me. And this one's going to talk to us. Gross. Our palace is said to have been hidden in a faraway land. If only I were young, I could fight together with you. Kick on my boy, be careful. I've already died like six times, so I mean... 
careful is relative. Um, <laughs> all right, more hammers, more springs, and uh, yeah. Boink. There we go. Oh, let me uh, deal with you real quick. All right, so now if I could remember how to get that to go. Oh yeah, I remember how to get that to go that way. Let's uh, sneak around here carefully. There we go. <coughs> There's your Raggedy Ann doll. <coughs> it's not just socks, it's old socks. Gross. And nobody's gonna remember Raggedy Ann dolls. If you remember Raggedy Ann dolls, you're just as old as I am. <coughs> Alright, we need that there. And we wait here. And we're gonna do this because that spiny's coming back. <laughs> Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Andy. Correct. There you go. There you go. Y'all just as old as I am. Y'all could have played this game. Y'all could have played Kickle Cubicle on your Nintendo Entertainment System. Forget the Wii. Forget the Switch. No, you got the Nintendo Entertainment System. Alright, we gotta deal with the Rooker here. Alright. Rooker is a major pain in the butt in this because as I like to call him the Shield Knight, he can actually rebound your ice shots back at you. Uh, and he can also dash, which is no good. Uh, <clears throat> we'll come back. There you go. <coughs> I made a mistake. It's fine. All right. Nice. Oh, you little... You... You... I, I'm, I'm so dead here. Okay. <laughs> the red chicken's name is Max, by the way. Um, <laughs> the shield knights also will randomly just break your ice blocks. Did I mention that? They'll just randomly break your ice blocks. <laughs> I, I, I think I mentioned it. I might have mentioned it. <coughs> Alright, there we go. Tag, you're it. Alright, let's grab this and quickly go grab the other egg. I death could have ever had something in the shop in rental stores I was five years old and had a Nintendo at the time. Panda bears. Not teddy bears, panda bears. The, the superior bear. Alright, so here's a, a fun, challenging one. What I like about this one is depending on your luck, you can actually have the game literally deliver these bags to you. So you see how the spinies are buzzing around? See, they're about to deliver me one. Come on, deliver it to me. Give me one. Deliver me one, please. Do it. Do it. I know you will. Well, how'd you come? I've actually had rounds of that where they'll randomly give both of those bags to me without me ever having to cross by the, the popsicles. And yes, popsicles stop spinies. <clears throat> Don't know why. Pandas are not Christmas or toys, Kappa. Alright, here here comes the la I think the last instance of the pea balls. <laughs> or the pea orbs. So we're going to real quick grab as many of these as we can get. By the way, Ma these uh, Max characters, they love to just push these at random. <clears throat> also, Santa hat. Too much chicken content. Alright. <clears throat> One game over. Not bad. Preferred none, but... Alright, six more stages in the final boss. We're almost there, kiddos. Here we get to run from the spinies. 
Ready, set, go. <laughs> Come on. You can't catch me. They can and they will. <clears throat> also, <laughs> Also, I have no idea what these are. I think they're eggplant monsters. I can't confirm that. I have no idea what those are. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Puzzle time. Y'all like puzzles, right? We got blockers. We got the snow. Oh, by the way, you cannot freeze the snowman. I mean, I know that that's crazy that you can't freeze a snowman. Oh, but they sure can freeze you. And boop. Uh, can I have that? Thank you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> cool. Eggplant is life. <laughs> the snowman's name? The the snowman, uh, who is not... Tech I don't know if he's technically... They don't really specify technically what Kickle is. I think he's just a kid with magical powers who could spit... Spit ice cold lyrics. I don't know. So here we also get to run away from the spiny, but in a slightly different manner. We're actually trying to catch the spiny uh, while we we freeze these little noggles in place, so that our kicking chickens, also called Max in game, will do us a favor and build us a bridge. Except this one just killed the other one. Hey, we have a bridge now. We can get in. Except so can the spiny. So I'm gonna have to wait till he comes back out. Here we go. And boom. More tiny pandas. <clears throat> Eggplant wizard from Wizards and Warriors. Maybe. Oh, the snowman's name. I'm so sorry. That snowman. Yeah, the snowman's names are shades. Their names are shades. As in sunglasses shades. Clever. I, I apologize. I, I feel like I've missed something by not telling you what their names were sooner. Um, I, I screwed that up. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. I was not even paying attention. And I did that completely wrong, and I know why I did it wrong, because I'm not paying attention. It's late, okay? <laughs> not late enough, but late. Actually, that's fine. And chaos ensues. <laughs> he just blew up. That should have killed me. Uh, yeah, but, um... So, the blue guys are Noggles. The guys with the hats are Mr. Hoopals. The bombs are Sparky. Turtles are Myrtle. The Tanukis are Rocky. The chickens are Max. The shield knights are Rooker. The clowns... Excuse me for a second are bonkers uh, the spinies are spiny the ethereal spinies are called gales the cannons are called the equalizer and of course the snowmans are shades so you now know the official name for all the characters also the ring is actually princess mira's ring by collecting it you get to do a special stage by the way, this is the last stage in the game. This is the only stage I keep a note for reminder on because it is really difficult for me to remember. Right, left, down, left, up, up, left, up. And then right here after it's been hit. It's hard to remember that. Eventually I'll actually memorize that. Oh, but yeah. That's the last normal stage of the game. Uh, we have the boss, and we're GG. Uh, I would say this would be PB if I can get it in under a minute, but I, it's not going to happen. We're off by a little bit. It's going to be very close to my personal best. So we saved the Legos. The Legos are going to help us break into the wizard's ice sculpture. So yes, we're going to finally see the Wicked Wizard, or excuse me, the Wicked Wizard King. And you'll see how wicked the wizard, Wicked Wizard King is shortly.
Oh, not GG. Yeah, we still got the king. We still gotta fight the boss. We're not done. We're not done. Take the GGs back. Hold on to it. We 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 got we got a butt face to beat. It's after hours. <laughs> we got a butt face to beat. Let's go get him. Who does also happen to be a giant snowman? Go figure. Through the ice shards we fall. Apparently Kickle's got some strong legs. Good shocks. <clears throat> oh yes, oh yes, I could still die. And here we go. The Wizard King. How dare you come up here? How dare you think you can defeat me? So this is the Wizard King. And we're going to freeze the ball and hit him with it. And we're going to take a sidestep here. He's going to bounce that really weirdly. Yeah. Yeah, he will. Yeah, you would. Come over here. Um, 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 this is bad, actually. This is actually bad. I said that was actually bad. Oh, oh. Yeah, <laughs> I was on the wrong side of it. See, see, somebody called me out, said I was gonna die still, and I died. I blame you. Cooler, I blame you. I blame you for not finishing there. <sighs> I knew as soon as I hit that, it was gonna get me. And I game over it. I blame you, Cooler, for that. That's all your fault. <laughs> no, I've played this game enough times. I should should know better than to do that. So you kind of want to sit kind of off center so you can get get the the ice ore back to him as quickly as possible, just like that. Oh, not like that though. So he gets faster and faster as he. Uh, Maneuvers about. Wow, you are you are being something else today, my wizardy foe. Come on, man, don't be like that, man. Nah, just nah. I'm tired. I'm 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 losing myself. We're still gonna make underestimate. We're still gonna make underestimate. I just I'm just giving you a show. That's all. Yeah, yeah. I'm giving you a show. Okay, yeah, I'm just giving you a show. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. You know, it's fine. How's the run going? Dies. Maybe it was your fault. Maybe I maybe I'll call somebody else out. No, 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 no. It's just... <laughs> By the way, that is a bucket on his head. Only the greatest of wizards wear buckets as helmet as hats. Hats. All right, here we go. Here we go. He's the final boss. He's not a joke. I mean, the bucket is a joke, but that's GG, by the way, right there. <laughs> that's about two minutes, two and a half minutes away from my PB, but that's eh, fine. <laughs> that is actual GG. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am very grateful, very appreciative. You guys hang out with me this evening. 